Alright, welcome to another video, and before we get started, I'd like to take a quick minute to thank all the Patreon supporters and YouTube channel members whose names you see scrolling across the screen right now. Uh, they make this financially possible, and without you, I probably wouldn't be here making videos, so thank you. Alright, so we're going to fly the swordfish today, and as you can hear, we have onboard audio now. Um, since switching to HD, uh, that being the Walksnell system, and not having audio, either onboard or live while flying, um, has been something I've missed coming from analog. I always took the time to set up a microphone and get it placed in the airplane to where I had a good sound quality and all that. You know, I went through the trouble and make sure it sounded good and I had good usable audio. And for one, it kind of adds to the, uh, the videos. It adds another layer just to kind of break the silence when I'm not talking narrating because a lot of times I'm kind of rambling home looking for something to talk about. And having the airplane audio kind of breaks that silence. Um, but to having the live audio, I've actually found it useful a couple of times. I've heard, been able to hear issues with the uh, motor and ESC and things like that. And you know, you can just kind of hear though the motor will start screeching or something like that when they desync, and you know, you know something's not right. And I've actually been able to make it home when I had a failing motor, which I believe I wouldn't have been able to do if I didn't hear it failing early on and turn for home as soon as I notice that. Um, but for now we don't have a live audio channel with Walksnail with any of the HD systems that I'm aware of. And I could be wrong on that, but if I am, correct me in the comments below. I'll, I'll take, take it. <laughs> but uh, anyway, for now the best we can do is onboard audio. And that's running totally separate of the Walksnail system. Don't get excited. They didn't add audio or anything like that. There's no physical microphone that I'm aware of in the cameras or transmitters or anything like that anyway. So I don't think it would be possible with a firmware update or, or anything like that. Uh, but what we are doing is using a tiny little USB voice recorder. Self-contained, has its own little uh, uh, LiPo battery inside and... 32 gigabytes of storage, which is plenty, like more than enough. Um, but it just, it records. And then I'm able to sync that up later in post-edit and have the sound that you're hearing now. So uh, I'll go ahead and show you a couple of pictures of what the little thing looks like and how I just strapped it to the battery. I stuck it under the battery strap in the swordfish just to... Uh, just to kind of temporarily mount it and see if I was going to like it and it works well enough there I'll probably just do that and move it around different airplanes as I fly different ones I'll just stick it under the battery strap um, so I think some of them might be a little tight some of my airplanes are kind of tight around the battery but if there's not room for it there I'll stick it somewhere else I'll make it work um, it's pretty light it didn't even change the center of gravity on the swordfish the, the battery is relatively close to the CG so adding a little bit of weight there is not going to make a huge difference I don't remember right offhand how much it weighs, but I will put that on screen right now for you, so you'll know. But uh, it's it's not a lot. It's it's a negligible amount of weight. Um, if you really wanted to, you could probably even lighten it up a fair bit more if you decased it and took it and took the USB port off and made a little cable for it instead. That is kind of where most of the weight's at. But I'm just gonna leave it as is. It's durable and works and. Could even be useful for other things if you need it. So you maybe narrate a flight or the field or something like that. Um, but anyway, as you can see here, especially when I took off when I was running higher throttle, the uh, audio was a little bit loud. It was kind of clipping. Um, now there is some settings. There's a text file called factory.txt that resides on the uh, storage in the voice recorder. And there is a number of settings you can change in there between, you know, as far as like switching between voice activated or just manual activation. I have it manually activated right now so that there's only one switch on the unit. When you switch it on with a voice activation off anyway, when you switch it on, the LED flashes a few times to acknowledge that it's booting up and starting recording. Then the LED goes out and it just sits there and records until you land, you turn the switch back off and it flashes again to confirm to acknowledge that you're saving the file and it powers down that's it very simple to use um i basically just start the recording get everything ready to go i'll start the recording i clap one time like i'll show you here just 
and it just gives you a spike in the uh, audio wave that you can see in video editor to line that up visually with with the moment I clap you can line the spike in the audio right there kind of like the old clapboards and the uh, old movie movie sets and things like that same principle but uh, that's how I synced it up and thankfully at the end of the video it was still synced it uh, there's no like time playback speed difference or anything like that so it doesn't desync over time which you can still just kind of adjust the length of your audio track if you need to to correct for that but at least the recording that I'm doing in OBS recording the ground feed out of my video receiver stays perfectly synced with the wave file that comes out of the voice recorder so there's just line it up line it up at the beginning lock those channels together in the editor and everything works as if it was in the same file after that very very quick and easy to integrate into my workflow of editing these videos um, but like I was saying it is a little bit loud and uh, there is some clipping going on in, in the louder portions of the video and uh, I do have the sensitivity the mic gain or whatever I forget what they call it exactly but basically how loud the audio is I have it turned all the way down and it's still too loud. I did make one quick flight on the, the default settings which had it like in the mid range and it was way too loud and it was clipping a lot more than it is now but I lowered it all the way down which did help a lot and gave me some good usable audio that you hear here but uh, it's still too loud and it clips at higher throttle than during the landing and things like that. So I've opened it up and you can see here on the corner of the board that's the microphone that one tiny little component with a hole in it that is a little surface mount microphone and from my past experience with different FPV microphones especially ones not intended for FPV they can be a little bit sensitive like this one is and I found it helps tremendously just to place a good thick piece of tape over the hole in that little microphone component and it desensitizes the mic quite a bit and if, if it's actually just loud noise and wind noise and things that it's hearing that's making it clip and, and coming out too loud like that, then this is going to be a tremendous improvement. It'll help a lot. But if it's actually picking up like physical vibration transmitted, you know, by physically touching the airplane and being strapped down tight to the airplane like that, then the only way to improve it in that case is going to be to soft mount the microphone with a bit of foam or something like that. Um, but we'll cross that bridge if we need to because I haven't actually tested it like I said I can, I've shown you the picture here I've taped over the microphone I've used a good thick piece of electrical tape which works well from in the past from my past experience with other microphones I assume it will here too but I haven't flown it since doing that because I was gonna actually do another flight before I made this video but the wind and rain and everything from a little tropical system moved in and kind of messed that up so it'll be at least a few more days before I can fly and I had time to edit this today, so I wanted to go ahead and get it out while I had a chance. Um, but hopefully that tape over the microphone is going to fix everything up. But if it doesn't, we'll uh, try something else. So we'll figure out how to soft mount it. We'll make a little soft mount that'll have room in there around the battery somewhere. Maybe even in the bottom compartment. There's a pretty good bit of room down there too, from what I remember. Uh, but anyway, we'll figure it out. But hopefully the uh, audio in the background of these videos is going to, like I said, add a, an extra layer, just some more depth to the, the video and make them a little bit more watchable here on YouTube. And uh, I'll have a link to this below. I did get this free. I want to point that out, full disclosure. I got the audio recorder free. Um, I'm a member of Amazon's Vine program where you basically kind of pick through a list of items you want to review and every now and then something interesting like this comes up. And that's how I got this. I didn't pay for it. But the company that supplied it, that gave it to me, they actually, it actually works through Amazon. They don't know who's getting the stuff or what you do with it. There's no contact with the company beforehand. So they don't know what I'm doing with it or anything. There's no prior obligations or agreements or anything like that. So this is all just my opinion, honest. Don't have any reason to lie about it. Um, I will put a link to it below. It's going to be an affiliate link through Amazon's affiliate link thing. But... I don't know if it's the best USB voice recorder for this purpose. It's just the one that I tried out because I had an opportunity to try it out for free to me. So I did. And it works. So that's what I have to offer. Um, if you know of one better, if you decide to try a different one and find it works better, 
put a link in the comments below. If I mean, I'll find it just as useful as, as other people watching the videos. And uh, maybe we'll stumble upon on the perfect USB voice recorder for this purpose. But for now, this one works. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut up and quit talking over the audio and let you listen to it a little bit better now. And uh, enjoy the rest of the flight. We're just going to continue flying down this road right here. Climb up over the trees and follow the bayou bank back home and do a nice landing. So thank you for watching this. And uh, like I said, questions, comments, or links to other voice recorders that work better than this one, put them in the comment section below the video. And uh, keep an eye out for us to come.